Hello guys and welcome to this very quick and simple guide to making a collection within a collection or a page of collections. So I made all of these collections as you can see here. I made one for each topic uh, that we sell and I linked them all together. So this was supposed to be best Black Friday jeans, best Black Friday shirts, sneakers, etc, etc, etc. And these are all on a page, which before it was uh, put into the navigation. Obviously, it's gone now because Black Friday is over. And now this page will just be left until next year. But how did I do this? This is actually a page, as you can see here. So if I click on view page, then yeah. So the first thing you need to know is that you need, of course, some collections to put inside that collection. So what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be linking up my Christmas one, which is exactly the same thing as this. But instead of Black Friday, it's for Christmas. And it's just an experiment that I'm doing to see if I can get some traffic, basically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on online store and I'm going to click on pages and I'm going to create a new page. And while I'm going to do that, I'm also going to uh, control click and click on online store here. This will open up a new uh, tab also within the Shopify backend. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on customize because we need to add a new template. We could also just use the uh, Black Friday template, but I'd rather make a new one. So click on the top bit here where it says home page and then click on pages. And then I'm going to create a new template and I'm going to call it Christmas uh, page. It doesn't really matter what it's called. So we'll call it Christmas uh, gift guides. And we'll base this on Black Friday deals. No, we won't because it's just going to be annoying. Actually, yeah, we will. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that because now I can't show you how I did this in the first place. So I'm going to actually undo that. I'm going to make a new one. And I'm going to call it Christmas uh, gift guide uh, two. <laughs> I'm going to base it on the default page so I can show you how I actually did this in the first place because otherwise it would be pretty confusing. So. Um, you want to basically click on add section and you want to add a featured collection like this and you want to have your collections ready. Sorry, that's the wrong one. You want to click on collection list. So let's remove this one. And now we have the collection list. So we're going to click on the collection. We're going to type in Christmas. And we're going to start on the lowest number here and then press select. Oh, that's annoying. I want this to be the first one, otherwise it's not going to make any sense. So, uh, I think this is the first one. No. So it should be the highest number. No, that's a completely different one. Oh my god, there we go. Okay, perfect. I want them to be in order just because, yeah, uh, they need to be in order for me. I think this is the second one. Let's have a look. No. 300 for your boyfriend. This is kind of annoying. I didn't expect this. Sorry about this, guys. But yeah, I may as well show you how to do this all. So there's that one there, the shirt, right? 150 for under 300. Select. Okay, there are others, but I'm just going to leave it at these three for now, just so that we can get on with it. So you want to then click on the page, and we can uh, remove this. I'll just hide it, whatever. Okay, and then we're going to write something like um, gift guy Christmas gift guides 2022. And yeah, that's pretty much it. This is now a page for um, this is a page template. So now we're going to go back onto here. We're going to refresh this page so that the template will actually appear. And um, we're going to call this Christmas Gift Guys 2022. And you would write some kind of text here. I think I might do that just to show you guys kind of what you could write here. So if you're looking for the best gift guides for um, your for uh, 
um, a male <laughs> uh, person. Oh my god. I hate writing stuff like this for uh, your family member or loved one. Then look no further. So you basically want to get to the point where the meta description is full, okay? Because I think that's best practice. Do we want to add anything here? Christmas gift guides, let's add for men. Guides for men. Um, That'll do. The final part of this is we want to click on the theme template and we want to click on Christmas Guides Gifts 2 and then hit save. And then when we view this page, you will see that you have a collection within a collection, kind of. It's not quite a collection within a collection, but I mean, let's be honest, this is what most people want to be able to do. They want to be able to make a collection um, or a page on Shopify with collections inside. That's exactly what I've done here. Just a little tip guys, these things, these pages that I've made, they're really, really easy to make and they use very, very simple logic like sh only show products that have under um, $100 or whatever. So let's click on, uh, let's go on under $500 for example. So this will only show any products that we have that are under 500 euros. It's so easy to make one of these pages, okay? But if I go on Google and I just quickly do site and then I use the website here and then do slash collections and then in URL Christmas, you won't believe how many of these pages are already on Google. This is after a few days, okay? This is literally after a few days. And then if I get rid of this as well, you can see that we've got even more pages on here because we also have a German page on here as well. These are super easy pages to make. I can't stress that enough. It, and the SEO is absolutely amazing on them. So yeah, that's pretty much the video, guys. You can very easily make a page that will host your collections as you can see in the example here that I showed you at the beginning. And this page is actually on Google as well. So if I just do uh, in URL Black Friday. So this shows that you can actually get um, these pages themselves onto Google as well. So here it is. This is the page, Black Friday Mega Sales, bang, bang, bang. This is actually the German page. I didn't realize that. It's actually the German page. That's hilarious. Yeah, that's pretty much it. You can get these pages on Google. So think about how you can work with that. And I hope this helps some people out and check out the playlist at the end of this video, which will have many, many different free Shopify Dawn customizations that you can do to your own store. Thanks for watching and peace out.